tribal profiling and st stereotyping no, 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 no. alienate communities and encourage radicalization. I'll start by chewing up the motion. Tribal is connected with tribes or a tribe. Profiling is the act of, of collecting information about somebody or something and giving the description of it. And is a conjunction. Stereotyping is a fixed idea of image that many people have a particular type of person or thing but which is often not true in reality. Alienet is to make someone feel that he does not belong to a particular group. Communities, these are people who live in a particular area. Encourage is to persuade somebody to do something and believing and making that person to believe that what he wants to do is right. Radicalization is to make people willing to consider new and different policies and ideas. And to my first point, encourage corruption. We have these recent leaders. Maybe one can decide to take, for example, the leader is Alu. So he, he or she can decide to employ all, all the, uh, can decide to employ his tribe, which is Luo, in the office. And when they are given funds to develop the other communities, whereby we are, in Kenya, we have 47 counties made up of different tribes. So when these leaders get the man there and yeah, and he's a Luo, he can decide to develop his country alone and leave the other counties suffering. Thank you. How can you go to Rome and learn how the Romans do if you do not take it through tribal profile? I'll tell you as to why I'm saying tribal profile. For you to learn how people do their things in their communities, you, learn how, you have to learn about their culture and their beliefs. I may not be an Oxford, but at least I have a clue about this motion. I, Kanze Michelle, from the Blue House team, is here, ready to oppose this motion that states, tribal profiling and stereotyping alienate communities against radicalization. I'll start by breaking down the motion. Tribal profiling is collecting useful information about a given tribe. Stereotyping are beliefs on topical characteristics of members of a given community. To alienate, is to bring, to alienate communities is to bring division against people living in a particular place. Radical, to, to encourage me to support, radicalization is the process by which people come to adopt increasing very strong views in opposition to social, political, and social and religious status too. To my first point, it enhances communication. Why am I saying to enhance communication? First, Nelson Mandela stated that to, to go to a man's heart, you need to speak the language that he understands. You cannot tell me you can go to Turkana or Kisumu or Siaya and speak in Kiswahili with an old person who does not understand Kiswahili and speak in their language and that old person does not understand Kiswahili nor English. You have to adopt to what they are doing and that is tribal profiling. For you to understand what they are doing in, their, in that county or in their tribe, that is their culture. Because that person does not understand. He, he or she is not learned. And to the second point, politics or politicians. Political leaders also fight against their own, fight against themselves. A politician fighting against her, his own opponent who is a politician and they are from the same tribe. Kenyans, or let's take an example of our country, Kenya. They fight against their own fellow leaders from the same community. Is that, so you want to tell me that that is tribal profiling? No, that's not. That's why I will, we are not talking about races or we are not talking about tribes. We are trying to bring these people together. Thank you. So we are done with you. Start inciting you about a person, the wrong thing, the negative thing. How will you take it? As you all know, my name is Alex Baraza from the White House members representing Pete. Ready and ready to oppose this motion that says tribal profiling and stereotyping stereotyping against communities and encourage radicalization. My dear, the first opposer, you say it well, that once you go to Rome, you must start by tribal profiling. You know the community. But according to your point, you say that a person who goes to Somali and starts talking in Swahili, the Somalians don't understand. We are talking about stereotyping against communities and encourage and encourage the radicalization, but we're not talking only about tribal profiling. Okay. It's true, you say that Nelson Mandela 
say that in order for a person to go to Rome, you must start learning about what the Romans do. That is tribal profiling, I agree. But what about stereotyping? What about arguing? On to my first point, encourage and fair distribution of resources. As you all know, communities do favor other communities. You cannot tell me that your community is suffering, going to another community, you help. And you know that, that, that your community, they, are, they lack facilities. That is how it will lead to unfair distribution of resources. Because you know that your community lacks some, lacks, let, let's say like infrastructure. Let's take a very good, for example, like the Tika Superhighway. It's one of the largest superhighway in Kenya. But why don't the communities figure out on making another superhighway in the other country or in the other part of the country, but only thicker? Why? On to my second point, encourages executive and terrorism. As you all know, as in Mombasa, we have the Mombasa Republican Council, which is a council that states that they are not included in the budget of Kenya. With this one, we encourage succession, which is the breaking in to a place. So, for me, I stand that tribal profiling and stereotyping alien communities and encourage radicalization. I, allow me to fill up my throat. Oh, oh. It is so painful. Because for a long time, I used to think that common sense are available to every human being. But now, I'm just being slapped by the painful thought that common sense are available to those who use it. I go by the name Chinyabu Venesa from the Blue Host team, ready to propose the motion that states tribal profiling and stereotype next communities and encourage radicalization. Just before I air out my points, we talked about encourage corruption. How? Corruption. They won't take anyone from any community if you are not learned. First, you need to qualify so as to get that job. Don't say that because of tribes that that's where you get the job. No, they look for your qualifications. Thank you. On to my first point. Climate change. The cl climate in different, co different counties in Kenya. Let's say like Turkana and Lodwa. You can find that this, uh, the central, the central part, part of Kenya, they get a lot of rainfall. You can find like th those community, those counties like Turkana and uh, Lodwa, they're not favored with the, with the climate there. It is dry. They won't be favored because this other side, they're getting a lot of, of uh, rainfall and their resources will be much higher. They'll be having a higher standard of living there. And like these other, co other count counties, on to my second point, I bring up education. Why education? Education alienates us as communities. When you finish your KCP, your class 8, what do you do? You choose these big schools, don't you? You can find that you say, maybe, for example, you are not qualified to go to that school. It can commit, you, one, one of you can commit suicide. Is it that one, one thing that can alienate us as communities? Another thing, you can find that in Nairobi, there are two places. There is Karen. And Madari. Do you think you can find those ones who never who are not educated to live in Karen? No, they won't. Because they don't they don't qualify. That's why I'm leaving you with this. It is so painful to see these learned girls who are real learned to take this side of the motion. Thank you. Ready to propose the motion that says to propose the motion that says that, that the government okay, okay, to correct my worthy opponent because she spoke on a point about school. So you get good high marks and want to go to all these high these good schools like the national schools. It's okay, but that's where the corruption comes in because you're, you're not qualified. You want to go there, but you're not qualified. So when, 
So your parents, they go and corrupt the, the principals or the teachers work there if you have good relations with your parents. They are corrupted so that, so that you can get to that school. You are not worthy of that, of that opportunity. There's someone who really needs it and they don't get it because of the background at home, financial background. And that is because the, the resources, jobs are there. You know someone needs a job and you don't give them the job. Why? We are in an organization, we have these various places where people can fit. It's not just about the high positions like the managers and the assistant managers that you can hire someone. They also have health workers in organization. And we have people who cook, we have people who do certain things. Why not give that person a job? They deserve it. So that is where corruption comes in place. And that is the distribution of resources. There is also food. And we are not only talking about train. We have food. Food. You, let's say this person is a kikuyu, and then they are supposed to take this food to to places where we have cambas, we have luos. But instead, since there is this, you have been incited. That is that is radicalization. You have been incited to go against that that community. That's where you you start saying, ah, no, let me not go there. You can't give the food to your people. That is corruption, and that is where unfair distribution of resources comes in. Okay. On my uh, my fellow champ, the first speaker spoke about corruption. The second speaker spoke about unfair distribution of resources and encouragement of terrorism. And I am going to talk about this is the human capital. When this this resources like food, they are not supplied in the right in the right way. They are given to certain people, and others they don't get it in the required quantity. The people die. And also, on to my second point, let's take this about the post-election post violence in 2007 and 2008 also. So, people were fighting. Why? Because you want to, to support your leader. Certain tribes, you want to support this tribe. That's the people are fighting. You're being incited. The people have their own war. You don't know how it's began. You don't know how it's ending. But you, as the common common monarchy, the citizen, you go there and you start you start continuing a war that you were not there even when it started. That, that is so bad, and that is why, that's so bad, and that's why this, this problem should be cut before it becomes a very big disaster that you can never take your view. Thank you. I don't get it. Why you say tribal profiling and stereotyping eliminate communities, and you don't check on other perspective, perspective that can lead to elimination. First, I would like to ask the first proposal. You said about um, corruption. As my other opponents say, that they only look for qualified, you only get a job if you are qualified and you have the skills to do that job. It doesn't, we don't look on the strike. We look on what you, on the skills that you have. And then to the second uh, proposal, you had said, you do not understand clearly my second, my first speaker's point. She was she was trying to bring up that if you know about a tribe information and you can understand their language, then it's going to be so easy to communicate to them. And this brings unity. So I don't understand what you are really opposing her. And then to the third speaker, you also misunderstood my second speaker's point. You are just going on saying about the, the people who distribute to the new ones. I, I want to ask you this question. Are these people in our country, Kenya, today, the one dealing with distribution of food, are they only one tribe? We have people of, from several tribes who do normally work together to distribute the food. So I'm not getting it. When you say that the, the people distributing the food, they will only be concentrated on their tribe only. Okay. I I want to the um, the point that I'm going to say it's based on religion, which you, you also the third speaker you said about the election and other people are killed. Also, I make that that your point was, was supporting us. Like let why do I say religion? Religion. Let's look at the um, Mongiki in our own country, which occurred in the years. This Mongiki was clearly killing people. Killing people and doing certain things based on community. Let's give, let me give you another example about the Uganda. In Uganda, someone just woke up and said, "What the world is coming into an end." And you know what he did? He burned.
burned up a church, a church and people died. Also, the Al Shabab. We normally know how how the Al Shabab are dangerous. Even they can go on killing killing their own life for for, for, for just uh, for the religion. Um, and as me and my components, we are not we are not saying that tribal profiling and stereotyping does not alienate communities. But let us not forget of the other perspective that that affects that brings alienation to community, which are at a higher rate compared to uh, tribal performing and stereotyping.